Travis Wayne Goodsell. I got an update for you on my lawsuit against the Corporation of the President of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, federal Civil Case File Number 219-CV-00711. The Clerk of the Court has responded to my latest, hey, what's going on? Why is it not on the docket? Uh, here's the first one that I received. Uh, let's see. The pro se documents you submitted to file in your case have been received and are currently being reviewed. Okay. Um, what's going on here? Why can I not scroll over? You understand that this receipt from the clerk does not constitute proof of filing. <laughs> A notice of electronic filing will be emailed to you when your emailed documents are filed. <laughs> okay, so that's just a technical issue they're addressing. Uh, please keep in mind the following when emailing documents. One, you are responsible to review and verify that all parties are receiving through the court's system and if they are not, you will verify that you have served such parties yourself. And I've done that. I, it's, I forwarded it so that they should know that all parties received it. Uh, but again, they're putting this as the rules for submitting through email. Uh, two, you are responsible to meet all fulfilling deadlines, documents received by email. Here's the rules. You are responsible to meet all filing deadlines. So are the lawyers for the defense. <laughs> and my motion pointed out they're late. <laughs> 24 days late. They didn't meet the deadline. Ta-da! <sighs> Documents received by email after hours will be processed the next business day. So in other words, uh, the rules that they're listing here confirms I won. I won. We just have to wait for the order to be done. And so I can even put this here if the judge is hesitant and requires further evidence. But she was once a clerk, so she already knows this. I won. The church is over, guys. Right here, the clerks confirm it. And so, yeah, they're going to try to pull a stunt, I'm willing to bet, that I didn't reply quick enough. <laughs> ah, those bastards. Alright, so, uh, your documents must follow the requirements as outlined in the procedural manual. Uh, Judge First had already listed the process procedures for uh, submitting. Uh, and so I followed her orders. Uh, but yeah, I can see them trying to pull a stunt of, oh, it doesn't qualify, you missed this technical detail. The bird. I won. Just confess. Just submit. It's over. The church lost. Uh, you must promptly notify the clerk's office in a proper pleading when you have changed your name, address, or email address. Okay. So, yeah, those, those are the processes I had gone through, but the clerk was not cooperating. If you have any questions or need, and by the way, the law says if there is a just cause for not filing on time, 
it will not be held against a person. So they can't pull this stunt on me. I notified them. The dates are all proper. I filed on time. If there's some technical issue that I oversaw, that's not supposed to be held against me. Direct, blatant, un unaccounted for neglect, such as being 24 days late with no excuse. Uh-uh, that don't cut it. I have cause. I filed on time. It's just this coronavirus messed up the proper procedure that I would have done had there been no coronavirus. I had made the appointment at the bank. I was all set to go downtown. And then coronavirus screwed it all up. And there were no proper protocol procedures like this by the clerk's office for all to know about. They're now doing it because I'm saying, hey guys, you forgot to do your job. So they're saying, oh yeah, <laughs> this is what you were supposed to do. I did that. You didn't do your job because you're protecting the church. See, it's the intake clerk. It's not the regular clerk. And so, yeah. Uh, we have other resources available, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, expect to see it on the docket this morning. <laughs> I expect to see it on the docket. And so, here's the other one, and it's the same response. And so, yeah, I emailed, re again, replied forwarding both Judge Furse's emails and the resubmission as ordered by the new judge, Judge Oberg. So, yeah, they did a response to both of them. They received it. But it's not official until I get an email response. <laughs> but I consider that an official response, that they did receive it. Uh, so let's find out. It's been an hour. Here we go. Ah, oh, no, they still didn't do it. Still didn't, went, well, well, yeah, let's see. Maybe they put it back where it was supposed to be. 15th, no, they didn't. Yeah, okay. So they have not processed it yet. So they're still being stubborn. They're at work. That much is known. Okay. So I'm not seeing anything else. Academia. I, I had like a huge academia surge last month. I mean, we're talking hundreds of people were viewing me on Academia last month. I mean, what the hell is up with that? Uh, okay. So, yeah, I think that that's that for that with that. Okay, so there it is. I won. Confirmation from the clerk, intake clerk, <laughs> that I won. Because, let me read it again for you. Number two, under the rules of uh, emailing documents, you are responsible to meet all filing deadlines. Ta-da! 24 days late is not meeting the filing deadline. Church lost. It's over. I won. Let the thumbs down begin. The church is over, guys. It's time to flee to Zion, because Utah is not Zion, is it? We've all learned that the hard way this past weekend, didn't we, Mormons? Zion is supposed to be a place of safety, a place of refuge, a place of peace. 
and it wasn't, which means it is not the prophecy fulfilled by God himself to the Mormons. So you're supposed to flee to another city. Where is that city, Mormons? Hmm. Doesn't exist, does it?